What up, YouTube? This knowledge is self determination. Yo, I had to make this video. Like, I'm in the middle of doing research for the uh, history of the police in America, part three, and I run across this site, and I run across this um this this, this term called civil forfeiture. Man, this is deep. Basically, the gist of it, like, 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 I looked over it like a couple, of, like a couple of minutes, watched the video. I'll put the. In fact, there's a video on YouTube about this. Um, the video was done by uh, John Oliver from the um, from the from the cable show last week tonight. Um, and basically, what civil forfeiture is basically, government has granted law enforcement the uh the ability to seize money and property from people under the suspicion of illegal activity or or, or, or illegal drug activity but the th this is the thing though see the thing is they're seizing the property and or the money or but they're seizing your property and belongings they're not accusing you of a crime they're accusing your property of a crime how the hell can you defend a house like would you really Give a lawyer a ten thousand dollar retainer to defend your house. Like, who can afford that? Like, mind you, these people have taken all of your assets. You may have you, they've taken your house, they've taken your car, they've taken your money, and now you have to defend. You have to find somebody to defend all of your property, not you, your property. They don't have to convict you of anything, and they can still take your money if they think that you are doing something illegal with it, or the or or the property is being used for something illegal. This is crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and read some of this article. This, man, I man, I had to do this video because this is re, this is ridiculous. Um, the Drug Enforcement Administration has a vested interest in the war on drugs. The federal government's decade-long mission to eradicate drug use in, in the U.S. not only does it support the federal agency's core goal to quote enforce the, the controlled substances laws and regulations of the United States, end quote, but it also served the criminal justice system on a financial level, allowing the agency to profit off enforcement through budget requests and a civil asset forfeiture program. Like I said, they can take your money. If you're carrying large amounts of money, thousands, a few thousand dollars, they can take your money and use it for whatever their department or agency needs. They don't have to report this money or anything. It's literally, it's literally them using the people of America as their own personal fucking piggy bank. This is ridiculous. Which is why the name of this video is Are the Police Out of Control Part 2? Because law enforcement is completely out of fucking control. Tough drug laws demand greater financial resources. A larger slice of the federal budget from the U.S. government. That's one theory as to why the DA continues to enforce federal marijuana laws in legal states. Despite public condemnation, it pays to criminalize pot. Related, the reason we started the war on drugs, well, maybe not the main reason, but in any event, that's the name of the, uh, that's the heading for this particular portion of the article. The DA has an entire department, the Domestic Cannabis Eradication Slash Suppression Program, dedicated to the enforcement of marijuana laws under the Controlled Substances Act which strictly prohibits the use, cultivation, and sale of cannabis in the U.S. Federal law regards marijuana as a Schedule One drug, as addictive and dangerous as heroin. Schedule One drugs are considered the most dangerous drugs and to have no, quote, accepted medical use morphine and a high potential for abuse, end quote, according to the DEA. That is completely fucking ridiculous. And again, that was started back in uh, was it 1963 and 1962 by President Nixon? And in the 21st century, all our presidents and our government are still piggybacking off of Richard Nixon's war on drugs. They have not changed anything about how they go about the whole process of fighting against drugs. Marijuana is the same as heroin? That is come. I don't know how many of you live in an inner city or have known anybody who was a dope fan or a smack addict or a heroin addict, but they are two completely different things. Her heroin will wreck your life. I mean, man, it's. I'm going to continue on because I don't want to go off on a tangent or digress, but there's another controversy behind marijuana that you may not know about. So it makes, that's the heading. So it makes sense that the DEA would resist changes 
in public opinion and state marijuana laws. Without weed, the agency would have to rely on demand for the enforcement for other drugs to justify their toll budget request. And as it notes on its website, marijuana is the quote, only major drug of abuse grown within the U.S. borders, end quote. It's also the most commonly abused illegal drug in the country, according to National Institutes of Health. But the war on drugs doesn't just help the agency bolster its budget. Another controversial program allows the agency to seize the money and quote-unquote assets of people and businesses it suspects of violating federal drug laws. Again, they don't have to have proof. All they have to do is suspect you, which is how they infiltrated and started to lock up and kill a lot of the civil rights leaders and black power leaders um, during that movement in the 60s and the 70s in America. When they created, when Rick Nixon created the war on drugs and applied certain drugs to certain groups, it gave them the authority under just suspicion to go into your organization, bust heads, lock people up and kill them just on the suspicion. They didn't have to know what the fuck they were talking about. All they had to do was think they did and they can still do it to this day. While we're so busy trying to fucking fight about who the president is, we need to be fighting about who the fuck is passing these laws and putting that shit into into place in this country to continue to keep the government with their hands in our pockets and their fucking eyes on us at all times. This is crazy. This is craziness. But the war on drugs doesn't just help the agency bolster its budget. Another, con- uh, yeah, I already read that. And here's another heading: the Civil Asset Forfeiture Program. In 2014, the Department of Justice took in about $3.9 billion worth of civil worth of civil asset forfeitures, more than doubling what the agency seized in 2005, the Wall Street Journal reported. The DEA contributes to those funds by seizing assets in suspected drug-related cases. Suspected drug-related cases. A statistical report from the DEA's 2014 fiscal year shows that it sees more than $27 million is as in assets through the Cannabis Enforcement Program alone. Under the, quote, asset forfeiture program, end quote, the DEA can take your money even if you haven't been charged or convicted of a drug-related crime. Sure, you can try to fight the forfeiture in court if you feel you've been wrong, but that can be a costly legal battle. That's what I was just saying. Let's see. Related. Top White House drug official says war on drug is a failure. The funds seized through the forfeiture program are used in part to finance drug enforcement efforts, so they say. And as the agency has previously argued, its efforts are primarily aimed at illegal drug trafficking networks operating in the country. Still, there are problems with the program. Critics point out to a number of cases where the alleged assets were wrongfully seized by federal agencies, such as the DEA. In April, for example, a New Mexico man named Joseph Rivers lost his life savings after a DEA agent boarded a train he was on and seized an envelope that contained about $16,000 in cash. Rivers was headed to Los Angeles to start a music video production company. He told the agent, who was apparently asking everybody on the train where they were going and why. The agent asked to search Rivers' bag, and he complied. When the agent found the envelope, Rivers was suspected of involvement in drug-related activities. And while he wasn't charged or convicted of any crime, the agent found no evidence, no drugs, no firearms, nothing but the money. The DEA seized every penny under the asset forfeiture program. Quote, Rivers' life savings represent just a represents just a drop in the Justice Department's multi-billion dollar civil asset forfeiture bucket, the Washington Post reported. Quote, there is no presumption of innocence under civil asset forfeiture laws. Rather, law enforcement officers only need to have a suspicion in practice, often a vague one, that a person is involved with illegal activity in order to seize their property. This is Man, this is ridiculous. Again, I don't know how many of you knew about this or know what this law is, but yo, they are yo, they are a gang. Like they are the new gang, not Crips. Not man, they more powerful than Crips and the Bloods and Latin Kings and all that other crazy shit they got. Man, they are the fuck. This is the government, the biggest gang on the fucking planet. They have made laws to make it legal for them to do whatever they want. So I ask again, are the police out of control? 
Fuck yes, they're out of control. Law enforcement is out of control fighting a war that they started and funded and continue to fund. Yo, I'm out. I'm going I'm to leave the rest of the information or whatever other research that I find for um, the history of the, my, my videos dealing with the history of police in America because it goes into all of that. So I'm going to just leave you all with that. I just had to put this out there real quick because I thought it was fascinating and I wanted everybody to know about what civil forfeiture, what the civil forfeiture program or laws are. I'm, like I said, I'm going to put links to the, uh, to the video on YouTube in the description box and also this website. So please check this out, please. I also look it up in other places and put links to the to those other places that I went to post making this video into the description box. So it's knowledge of self determination. Um, like, learn, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.